Hey, good morning. I thought I'd show you my latest project working with uh, Scott Byron. I designed the gardens around the Chicago History Museum. I should have known it was this big. I knew the gardens were big, but I didn't know the building was this big. It's a beautiful building right on uh, in Lincoln Park. Plants are here and I'm here. So really that's the big important part right now. Plants are here and I'm here and I gotta start laying things out. So I have to start spray painting and moving because the crew is showing up in about 45 minutes. And we're gonna be laying the plants out and planting today. So the plants are here. They're all here waiting patiently to be placed in the ground, hopefully in some good plant patterns. It's a big place. You can see uh, the beds are all ready to go. It's a big place. I think we'll have some fun here and we just have to pace ourselves. Got it off to a good start. It's all about the good start. Well, I thought I'd show you the plan. He's watering the little lime hydrangeas and the woodies put in. Uh, so this is the site that I'm laying out now, prepared with a soil mix. I've got the plan right here. And I have to do field adjustments because some of the trees are not exactly all in the same place, but that works out well. I just slide more of the shade over into where the tree tree's actually located. Guess who's here? It's Susan from Scott Byron. She's, More supplies. So any, Hi, anything you have to talk about right now? We're just getting momentum going. Well, we're yeah, our first day of perennial planting. Roy's helped mark the layout of the perennials with the shapes. And you're kind of guiding them along with the yeah. crew team. They're doing called Susan the Ramrod. <laughs> she keeps everything moving forward very well. I try. This is our first Day portion one. of this so we'll we'll keep you updated thanks susan <laughs> thanks Roy. we finished the first day of layout and planting and i had a tremendous amount of field adjustments some of the trees were shifted in different positions so i had to take things from going into shade putting things for sun an example is here we had uh, a tree this witch hazel was brought in which wasn't supposed to be here so i'm going to have more shade into the future so i, I moved epimidium into the at back behind it you see back here and then i brought in coreopsis uh coreopsis zagreb and i mixed it with uh veronica very van gogh and as the plant gets bigger here the coreopsis will take light shade but it has the sun coming from this direction constantly going into this layer so i just was watching sun patterns of early August. So uh, this this was more of an adjustment, I'd say. We're making adjustments. The Van Gogh was grouped here, and I just mixed it, Van Gogh in with Coriopsis. And this is Carex albicans, which takes some sunlight and transitions into shade from the, the trees that are in this area now, mixed with Iris cristata. And as it gets heavier shade, and the birch hellebores are mixed with the uh, Carex Albicans, and then we blended in Carex Pennsylvanica. The element of the darker brown foliage of Carex Pennsylvanica, which will add another element to the foliage virus Cristata and the foliage of the hellebores, and then the rich green of Carex Albicans. So these are some of the pattern changes that I created. The pattern was here, but I had to add more to it based on the relocation of the shrubs. So I think it's going to work out fine and I'm really excited about the field adjustments because once you have a plan, the plan gets you started and you have to make adjustments as you go along and then you get back to the plan as, as the situation straightens itself out. So it's very exciting. So we'll look at some more patterns we're putting in tomorrow and we'll see what adjustments we have to make with tomorrow's patterns. So from the Chicago History Museum, see you later. Bye.